Hey, I'm making some tea here. Like that, uh, got some, uh, organic, well, that's what they say, organic throat coat. You know, um, it's, uh, uh, supports throat health and immune function. It's a lemon echinacea kind of thing here. Throat coat, you know, from this, whatever. I'm not an advertiser anyway. Um, so it's in here. I'm, actually, I'm going to pour some, um, I'm not, well, not right now. I have some maple syrup. Maple syrup. Uh, I can't read this thing. Sorry, I got <laughs> I'm in my reading position right now. A maple syrup members mark. I don't know what that is. Grade A, 100% pure, dark color, and robust taste. Got the Canadian flag. The Canadian maple. Oh, maybe that's not. It's just the maple leaf. Hey, you know, we couldn't down one. But uh, so I'm going to put that in there. But the, the, the tea has been steeping. Ah. Then Stephen got this little thing over it. Stephen like that. I'll let it, well, I think it's ready. Well, we'll see what happens. So I got to take this uh, thing out. Because you know he's supposed to let it steep for, I don't know, 10 minutes or whatever it is. I don't know how long it's been. Uh, but here's this thing. When I do put the maple syrup in, my grandmother taught me this trick when I was young, you know, because, you know, he had the Lipton flowed through tea bags and all that stuff. Remember that ever that Lipton flowed? This is one of those... Look, it's one of those flow through tea bags. I don't know if you can see it flow through. My, my grandmother taught me, oh, because they lift and always have this little tag on there. What she taught me to do, which is different than loose tea, is you take the thing and you wrap, oh, come on, get, get, get. and you wrap the uh, the string around. Well, you just, just hold this like this. You take this tab here, and then you squeeze. In case you can't see me, I'll squeeze into the thing. You squeeze like that, because it's hot. You squeeze the excess or the essence, I call it the essence, into your tea. Now I'm putting it in the saucer here, thing like that. Then I'll just take that and put it in there like that. Well, she also used to do, because also she had the real tea also. She would do that also. And with the real tea, she would have, uh, when you drink that, you had the tea leaves in the ring. And, and, um, and also, if you want the cool thing, you would have, uh, you put a little tea in a saucer, you know, so if you want to cool the tea a little bit. Um, and then what you would do is you put that cool tea into the, that cool tea in the saucer into the tea to make it cool down. But also at, at the end of that drinking, then you would have some tea leaves, right? Now on my, I'm going to pour this maple, a little bit of maple syrup in there. I usually, lately I've really been sweetening up my tea with, no, with no sugar, certainly, but, uh, but I decided tonight, since it's night, I just do a little bit of maple syrup just to, uh, just because I feel like it. I don't know why. Usually I do hot water in the morning lately with a little lemon. And um and no definitely no uh no sugar. Uh, no no sweeteners or anything like that. So I'll try to stir it up. I'll keep the saucer off and let it cool a little bit. But that's not why you're here, is it? Uh I've been going through some stuff here. Oh look what I got. I'm at my sister's house in Virginia. I know. Uh, a lot of my stuff is here, a lot of my art, a lot of my books, a lot of my archives are here, but she found this thing. I noticed, I knew this exists some years ago. Uh, BDI stuff, some fashion photographs there. Yeah, I'm going to post this up on Instagram somehow. You know, look at that. Look, look at that guy. That's another. I don't know why these fashion photos, because I'm not really a model or nothing like that. Well, I'm not that kind of model. But then they do some other stuff like that. So yeah, you can't see that kind of stuff like that. But then uh, this is uh, this is this is the basically the nineties when I had a lot of my crew. I forgot but this this me and Lucia was someplace. Lucia is just a anybody thinks that we were item. We were never an item. Um, but uh, she's like really really beautiful girl. And you know, uh, remember Prince had those um, those uh, like uh, uh, what the, those albums with with the girl with the polka dot dress on there. You know the the when I poke that dress on there. And uh and a lot of times Lucia looked like that, better looking than that girl. And everybody was always and they always thought that we were an item, but we never were an item. She would just we go to movies together and stuff like that. It's a good friend of mine. And uh, this is uh I don't know what this is. A picture like that. With my uh famous hat on. You don't see that hat. Oh, this don't have my hat there. Oh, this is early hey, you know the G DJ Jeannie Hopper? This is Jeannie back in the day. Certainly is back in the day when she first started at BAL Radio, you know. 
one of the people I taught. But here's a, uh, you can't see it here. Well, I'll show you to here. I used to do this, uh, let's see if this picture's here. We did um, a thing called a crafts fair. And I was, me and security, we, we had this crew of security. Michael G, um, uh, Max, and me, we, we were overnight security for for the crafts fair. Like that. So that's a, for those you know, be at it's a young Michael G. Uh, uh, Max, who still looks like Max, and me. Well, you see, you have that hat on there, right? But that hat was gotten from the craft fair because craft fair they were, every year they would do this for three weekends in a row or something like that. But this hat, this hat that I have on my head, this woman created these hats, and I used to wear this with my locks. And believe it or not, man, people would be very confused because you didn't know it was like, what's the one of the little rascals, right? Or even like some people thought it was a crown, like right, Jesus or something like that. Here, I don't know if this is, I don't know where, oh, I think this was in Atlanta. Uh, anyway, this is just a picture of Atlanta. Oh, here's a picture. Here's a thing that I really like. I used to have this picture all the time. I like with that same hat on. The uh, guy did a caricature of me. You know, I had him do the on, uh, thing like that. But that's, uh, I, I like that. Uh, I don't know where that is right now. Um, and also, here's a, I like the, here's a couple of pictures too. I'm going to put these up on Instagram, I guess. You know, it's the outsider t-shirt. That, that that we created long sleeve t-shirts. I love long sleeve t-shirts. Um, for the play, the outsider that we did is audio drama. Oh boy! And you ain't even said it was an eight and a half hour live audio drama. It's a long story. But anyway, this is this this is and I created every produced it, you know, adapted it from the Richard Wright novel. Actually, I, I, I divide, um, I combined a uh, law today his first, his first novel that he wrote that wasn't published. You know what I mean? And and um, and the outsider which. Is like uh um he wrote you know Richard Wright, um, yeah Richard Wright, Richard Wright yeah the Invisible not the Invisible Man why well, I'm trying to keep on going the one with bigger Thomas in it that that one you know I don't like that picture but anyway, he rewrote the thing uh because it was a two dimensional character and wrote it uh you know bigger Thomas the character but when he did the Outsider he basically wrote the same character as the guy's name is Damon Cross there but he was like a three dimensional character anyway I. I wrote, I did the script and everything like that, but these are the scripts done. I think this is for the, I think it's pretty thick. It was a thick script right there. I can't know if you can see it. Actually, there's a picture of me someplace with all the scripts posing with that so camera. Anyway, should I show you this? Hey, see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. I might get some, uh, I got some other pictures in there, but that's not what I want to show you. I, I've been, whew, man. Oh, man. I've been looking. Let me look at this. Well, the thing that came across my eyes is that um, they have this thing now with um, the latest thing, at least in the black community, aside from well, my war, is uh, the Keith Stanford, the actor, you know, um, don't bother me. Uh, I don't know. Um, don't bother me. I can't talk about that. Uh, I'm sorry to bother you. Whatever the, the, the thing. I haven't seen that movie yet. But he was the one that was in The Heart of the, the, Heart of the Fall. Um, and that was um, the thing with uh, the, the director, did with the, the Western with all the, the, with the black character, whatever. He's one of the bad guys. He's really, he's a great actor like that. But he's an actor. It seemed like he did this cover, this thing where he's wearing some, you know, um, uh, you know, confusing, confuses people. <laughs> with man, woman, whatever he was doing with some women. Some I don't know leggings with the I don't the little, I don't know what he was wearing. he was wearing something and there's a the big all the rage and black the black thing oh and another brother didn't fall to the whatever look these are brothers but these let me put it this way just like not like that look I used to order well let me put it this way a model you know what a model is you know it's a model they usually the skinny whatever have you, and they put stuff on a model to make them look like the whatever happened actors are not actors are just blank slates that you put stuff on them right that and 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 if and if and, and, and you all are so enamored with money if the boy want to make some money because he the latest thing is dressed up like a like a girl well I, I don't know what to tell you right but i have another take on this stuff since we're in war mode i'm not wearing war mode but white people are in war mode you know that's this going to affect of course it's going to affect black people but you know uh, not not directly i suppose let me see if this i don't know if this hot just a second oh quite good no, not too sweet um, but I have this, I'll do this another time. Yeah, I'll do this one another time. Ooh, I didn't realize that. Um, but I, I wanted to say something about that only because 
uh, this war mode. See, here's my thing. I'm an acolyte of Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. Um, and one of the things is that, you know, they, they, somebody said what they said. They said what they said. It, it, you can extend but both. They do what they do. Yeah, but it affects on the, on the race or whatever have you. And you go like, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> you talk to people want to talk to the brother. You can talk to the brother if you want to. But here's the way I look at all this stuff. And Mr. Neely Fuller Jr., there is a there is a chapter in, in his book. Oh, the book's up there, sorry. Uh, but you know, here's his nine areas of, of, of human activity. And the last one that he mentions, the ninth one, is, is war, counter war. Right. Now I always I'm personally, I'm um my everything points to me, I'm like a well my actually my name actually means the 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 Anglo um trans translation of my name, Anthony Sloan, means um uh, incomparable warrior, right? So I'm having this war. You know, I'm a child of a goon. It's put in an American Indian panther. I'm a woodpecker. You know, I mean, it's everything. It's, it's tiger. All this stuff. It's like I'm surrounded by war. <laughs> Let's put it like that. So I understand. Well, and then you know, when, even when I was in the service, I um in in the war in Vietnam era. I wasn't in Vietnam, but it was Vietnam era. Uh, um, the kind of I'm a different kind of warrior. You know, what I mean, it's, I'm just a different kind of warrior. But um. And, and one of the things, well, I'm a different kind of warrior, and one of the things, I was a medic, so, you know, and I did a lot of things in the community. But let me just say something to you. When we did, I got this thing, good old Chadwick, Chadwick Boseman, rest in peace, right? And, you know, Black Panther, but, you know, in the Black Panther, in Black Panther, right, they, they had these characters, they had these characters in Black Panther, and I always ask, if I want to know when somebody's doing something, I just ask them, I said, well, what, what character was for us black people? I said, what character do you do identify with in Black Panther? People say, you know, uh, 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 well, let's say T'Challa, of course, you know, the king. You know, some, um, the, you know, a lot of women will say, you know, whatever, Shuri or, or Nakia or, um, um, uh, you, you know, and, and of course, you know, the, you know, the, let's put, I call it the Michael B. Jordan character. Let's just put it that way, right? And, I always I still find that fascinating because to me I I deal with because I guess I'm I've been in theater for so long in in, in the arts or whatever it is. I always think of characters, you know. I don't care. I don't deal with gender, whatever. I think of character, and so for me, Nakia is the character that I identify with. Said, well, she's a woman, yeah, but she's the spy, you know. She's the one that gives the the, the same the same thing that. Uh, um, uh, that they were advocating for Black Panther to do this, help the community, whatever have you. She did it too, you know, but she lived. The other guy committed suicide, right? What can I tell you, you know? Anyway, my point is this. Uh, so for me, if you're in a state of war, war everything, it, it, all bets are out. Whatever plan you had, just gone. You know what I mean? So this whole thing with the, the, with the uh, Ukraine and all the rest of that stuff, uh, you these people are planned. They plan what they plan. Whatever, however it comes out, they're gonna win. In other words, the 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 powers that be this they they're gonna they're gonna make a profit. You know what I mean? Because right now, who else who's making a profit? You the the companies that make the bombs and and that make the whatever they make. You know what I mean? That they make the profit. But my whole thing is it's very simple. It's like well, if we're in war mode. I want everybody, <laughs> especially every black person, to and you can be white allies, whatever have you. To go against to to destroy the forces that that are that are against humanity. That's basically I'll, I'll say it that way, and um, and so that means if you dress if you uh, uh 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 identify as this or that if you homosexual male or homo or, uh, you know whatever you are I mean if you're you know morphodite whatever you are right as long as you're doing the war because remember especially with these, these folks you know as a as a spy you I mean you. you you could be sleeping with the enemy as a, I guess, a homosexual male, or you could be putting on a dress and hanging out with that crew, right? But you're gathering information, what, for your own liber for the liberation of your peoples, for for humanity's liberation. Let's put it that way. I, people don't want to get all whatever, but I do black people, but you know what I mean? So, so that's what it is. No matter what you are, you still, uh, I, I guess, going back to, to the narrative thing, the whole thing with um, uh, uh, that uh, Dr. Carr, and, uh, you know, Karen Hunter, well, Dr. Carr is the one that says this because this thing with, I keep on saying, well, well, Sonia Sanchez has this thing, but do it free us. I don't care what you're wearing. I don't care how you're talking. I don't care who affected. I don't care who you're boinking. It don't matter. Do it free us. 
or in the where's the missing nearly fully junior? Is it did, will it re, re, result in a constructive, you know, result? Constructive meaning, you know, I guess, meaning do it free us to our, our, our final liberation, and that's the kind of stuff that I look at. So I don't care who's boinking who, who whose opinion is who. In the final analysis, do it free us. It, it, uh, are you actually waging counter war, counter war to to for humanity to free us from the these folks that that are making bombs, you know, for, a, you know, I guess a million dollars a pop or whatever have you. You know, they don't care what's going on. They're still making that money. If this distractions or, or these uh, these it's skirmishes or whatever have you, you this, this person's uh, race or this person's uh, sexuality, whatever have you, it's confusing us and, and, and have us in the bind and not addressing the real enemy, then, well, that's not a, that's not a war posture. You know what I mean? Because believe me, when when stuff happens, when you know, walk out, you don't care. You does this person have my back? That's all you want to know. You know what? This person, it don't matter what the person looked like, what they were doing a, a half hour ago or twenty years ago. At this particular point, point in the battle, do, do are they waging? Are they giving us the information that this person has been sleeping with the, with the enemy? You know, I like guess the zaddies or whatever. Have it. This this woman sleeping with this this white guy is she bringing me back the information that I need? You know, for the that we need for the liberation of humanity. I'm gonna say humanity now. By uh, let me not get all that, uh, that'll confuse you. My point is, we're in a war posture. When I say we, I'm not talking about the Ukrainians and the white people fighting the white people. But I'm talking we're in a constant state of war and subjugation. Sub, uh, subjugation. Damn, brother, use another one of those big words. I wonder if he knows what it means. The point is, do it free us. This confusion, you you can cut through the confusion if you're you're, if you're clear about what you what you are, what, what what the mission is. That's the whole thing. But that's the whole point, you know. So I just thought I'd I just let you know that. Just give you a little insight here or something because uh, that's what I do. I being me. T from the Patterson's taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect.